Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 2935, which is a super hard level. And this is a special dedication to Louise, who's stumped with this one. Really stuck. Now, unfortunately, when they gave us a whole bunch of boosters, like the minigame boosters, the golden spaceship and the helmet, they also made some of these so difficult. So let's see what we can find. Um, uh, we've got 23 moves to collect 450,000 points. Now I've got popcorn on the board. Popcorn gives me color bombs. Color bombs matched with a color give me points. Uh, I have more licorice, but also striped candies that can come out of here. So that's the first thing I want to do is start activating this to try to get striped candies. The first thing to know, Louise, is that when you take out a licorice, no new licorice will drop down the next turn. It's when you fail or choose not to or can't take out a licorice that licorice will form the next turn. Now this is good. I was hoping that we would get some ticking time bombs. It's scary because right now we have no way to take those out. However, if we can get those color bombs either created by making a whole bunch of chaos in the center here or um, opened through this popcorn. Wow, I'm getting no stripes whatsoever. Then we can match the color bombs with the color of the most prevalent ticking time bomb and that will get us the points we need. That was kind of perfect right there. I finally got a stripe. Oh, we're taking out some ticking time bombs, not the ones I was hoping for. Alright, so let's see what I can do. Now notice I can't take out any licorice. There's no licorice. So in a turn or two the licorice will form. It's uh, not as consistent as the chocolate. There it goes. Sometimes there's a bit of a delay. I want to wait and use this against the ticking time bombs that are set to do me damage. Although, of course, I can't right now. But maybe I can drop it down again. Oh, let's do this. Okay, so we can take that out. And we couldn't quite get to these, but we see what we need to do. So this is the function of the board, and then we just have to do a better job of getting things going. So let's give this another try. Alright, so in the beginning, really, I just need to be able to take out some licorice. It doesn't matter where. I just want to get things going, but those wrapped candies. Those were the ones that were particularly helpful to me. So I'm going to look for opportunities to try to make those. Stripes don't hurt though, and if I use the stripes to take out the ticking time bombs, uh, then that can be particularly helpful if I can't get these open first. So yeah, let's go ahead and remove those. Hmm, no good moves, but at least I can take out a licorice. Oh, here we go. Not quite. I want to be able to take those guys out. Can't quite get there from here yet. Okay, here we go. Color bomb. And now, of course, I want to match the color bomb with the color of not only the most prevalent ticking time bomb, but the one that's set to do me some damage. Well, I could do green and that would be more points. But I'm going to choose to stay alive and hopefully wait till orange shows up. There we go. And that got me some points. And now I'm going to do this to try to open these guys up. That's what I need is more points besides the fact that I need to stay alive. It's a a difficult mix here that I have to deal with. I can't take out that licorice that I can see. I can do this and hope that I get a cascade to help with it. Ooh, 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 look at this. Here we go. And now I need either green or purple. I can't reach the green. The purple isn't a danger to me but I can get points that way and then hope maybe to do something to get these. I have another purple coming around. So let's hold off a bit and see what happens. 
Oh, here we go. I'm taking out the green. And now hopefully I'll get uh, the purple taken out. I don't have any ticking time bombs that can hurt me, so now it's just a matter of getting the points I need. And I got another color bomb. I can match with green, but I don't have a lot of green ticking time bombs on the board. So I'm going to hold off. Oh, here we go. I'm still going to wait, because what will happen is at the very end... Uh, oh, see, now I can take out green probably, right? At the very end, what happens is that I get points for everything that's created on the board and not collected. And so this is going to take out the most prevalent color, and hopefully that will be blue or orange, because then I'll get the points for it. Not quite, but I still got a star. So that's how I went about beating it. Took me two tries to get it done. Uh, but if you know how the licorice works, and you know how the uh, points work with trying to match the color bomb with the most prevalent ticking time bomb, and you can stay ahead of those ticking time bombs, use a lolly hammer or two if you're really stuck. With those tips, you should be able to get past this level fairly quickly. If not, booster up, baby. Bring in a color bomb and prepare yourself for when you're going to get in trouble. Thanks so much for watching.